Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is the brand new Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Vertebrake. Now, Vertebrake here is what they're calling the core class figure. It's actually the legend size and actually my very first kingdom figure. I was going to pass up on these bone guys, but the more I started looking at them, the more I really dug their look. So the first two I actually found for my collection is Vertebrake here and Paleo Treks, who we're going to take a look at next video. Now, taking a quick look at the packaging. The new Earthrise packaging is this yellowish looking artwork that really, really pops. I mean, I dig that. You got Vertebrake here in fossil mode, Vertebrake in robot mode here in the packaging. Of course, this is on a card. Back in the packaging, Vertebrake in robot mode, and once again, fossilized dinosaur mode. So now, without Further ado, let's get this guy opened up and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, once you get Vertebrake all opened up out of his packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions. And like all the modern instructions, these are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. And one thing I noticed that I didn't notice on the packaging, look at the new Predacon symbol. That is sweet. It looks like it's made out of bone. I really dig that. And of course, you see that the new instructions have a green coloring to them along with the black and white. He also comes with this tail weapon, very reminiscent of Beast Wars. Pretty much every figure had a tail weapon. And then you have Vertebrake himself. Now, my first impressions with this guy is this is a very solid figure. There's no gaps or anything like that. And the plastic just seems very high quality. So I am really impressed with that. Taking a closer look at the head sculpt, Head sculpt looks pretty good, and they got some great paint detailing there inside the eyes. It looks like he's wearing goggles, and he's got some red paint for the eyes themselves. There's that cool Predacon logo tampographed right there on his chest, and that silver detail, and that's pretty much it for the paint applications. Great molding on the figure all the way around. I mean, he looks like he's made out of old bone or, of course, fossils. I mean, I like this guy. As far as articulation is concerned, everything's on a ball joint. You've got the head that can look up and down, do a complete 360. The arms could do a complete 360, but they're going to hit the dinosaur arms here on his back. But they can go up and down. There's an elbow bend, elbow rotation, no wrist rotations, no waist rotations. Arms, <clears throat> excuse me, legs can go up and back, and there is a knee bend and a slight rotation thanks to the ball joint. All in all, a really cool looking figure. Now you got the weapon here that you can peg onto his back. You got this little clip section here on the end and it just kind of slots in between the bone sections. If I can find the right way to do it, get that locked in. This is 
This gave me an issue earlier. So once you find that sweet spot, did it plenty of times when it wasn't on camera, that'll lock into place like that. But of course, this is a melee weapon. It's got a peg right here that will fit into his hand. And there you've got vertebrae, all armed and ready for battle. Now let's get into transformation. And transformation for this guy is really simple. The first thing you're gonna do is remove the tail weapon. Then on the back of the figure, you have a panel right here. You're gonna bring this back, take the head and bring the head back into the opening right there. As you push the head through, it will push up the chest section, revealing the dinosaur head. Now make sure the head is all the way through here. And then you're gonna bring back this panel here, which was the robot chest, bring that up and over, and that will actually cover the face and head of the robot. Then this back section, put it back into place, and you'll see there is a tab right there that matches into the slot there. Get that locked in. Now, underneath the robot, or where the robot chest was, you're gonna take the arms and swing these forward. Just like so, this is a little stiff. Make sure the hands, the top of the fists are facing up like that. Then you're gonna take these sections here with the dinosaur forearms, bring those down. And then back here with the legs, you're just gonna bring these forward and angle them like so. And now we have the dinosaur tail. You're gonna put, put that right there in this slot. And there you go, Paleotrex in dinosaur fossil mode. And this actually looks really good. Once again, a really solid figure. Not much articulation though. You got the legs are articulate at the hips and the knees, a little bit of ankle tilt. These forearms, they don't move whatsoever. And the head can go up and down. Now there is a hinge for the jaw. Now the jaw, the lower jaw, is a very soft plastic and I can't get this to budge. I mean it just will not move. I don't want to force it but I guess if you heat it up you may be able to get that to move around. I'm really not too worried about it. And that's pretty much it for the dinosaur mode. The molding on this guy is fantastic. This looks great. Lots and lots of detail and I dig it. These fossilizers, or I don't know if he's a fossilizer, he's just, he doesn't turn into anything other than the robot and dinosaur. I think these guys are really, really cool and I'm really glad I picked him up. So there you go guys, one final look at vertebrae in dinosaur mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Kingdom vertebrae with Power of the Prime's Cindersaur, Combiner Wars Chop Shop, Generation Select's Bug Bite, and Fellow Kingdom Bone Bro Paleotrex. The Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Core Class Vertebrae is a really cool figure. I am really impressed with this guy way more than I thought I would. He's a very solid toy a great robot mode, a great dino mode, very limited articulation, but hey, that's what you get with these core class, legends class figures, so that's easy to overlook. All in all, a great little figure and a fantastic start to this brand new line of Transformers. So there you go, guys. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Vertebrae. So, does the Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Vertebrae belong in your collection? Well, this may not be a figure for everyone, but coming from a hardcore Generation 1 fan, I really like this guy, and I appreciate the fact that Hasbro is giving us something new with these fossilizer Transformers. I can't wait to find out what the story is with them and how they came to be and I really dig it. I think they did a really good job with this guy, and I'm definitely looking forward to getting more. So that being said, if you see this guy on the shelf, pick him up. You're not going to be disappointed. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. 
And if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!